the valency electron absorb uv visible radiation thereby it undergoes excitation from one energy state into another energy state this is one energy state and this one is another energy state after excitation the third step is corresponding spectra it will give some corresponding spectra okay so now we will see the basic principle how a sample can absorb the uv visible radiation and how it will give the spectra right here the valency electrons absorb the radiation is done but i have 10 compounds are there. i have 10 compounds 10 compounds will give same spectrum 10 compounds they will absorb same energy no based on the property of the compound it absorbs specific amount of the energy and it will give corresponding characteristic spectra right so here the absorption by the valency electron is characteristic means if i have 10 compounds 10 compounds may not give same spectra why it will not give same spectra it will not give spe same spectra because of the character of valency electron so what is the character of valency electron the character of valency electron is nothing but it may be a bonding electron it may be a non bonding electron so what are bonding or non bonding electron bonding electrons are nothing but as we know sigma and pi electrons then what are non bonding electrons non bonding electrons we know we know n electrons so every compound have same three type of electron some compound may have sigma electron some compound may have pi electron some compound may have n electrons every compound may have three electrons if you take alkenes alkenes having n electrons no if you take alcohol alcohol having pi electrons no so the pi electrons sorry what the valency electrons are characteristic absorption the gain property by the valency electron is characteristic that character property depends on bonding non bonding electron some of the compound having bonding and non bonding both some of the compound may have bonding only some of the compound may have non bonding only so based on the character of these particular electrons on the outermost orbit they absorb uv visible radiation first thing is over okay so sample having some some electrons that electron absorbs some energy in coming uv visible then what is the next property the next property is nothing but after absorption by the valence electron this electron may be sigma it may be pi it may be n clear so absorption by the n pi star whatever the electron absorption by the sample then it undergoes next turn next step is undergoes excitation it undergoes excitation from one energy state into another energy state you just have the one energy state is e0 another energy state is e1 why e0 the ground one state is e0 why the another state is e1 e0 is nothing but the energy value is zero e1 is nothing but we should have some energy levels okay here e0 is nothing but ground state e1 is nothing but we know excited state one is ground state another one is ground state after absorb first step we know after absorption by the valence electron based on this character it goes excitation from one energy state into another energy state right you just observe x molecule in the introduction we have seen x molecule having some energy 100 kilo calories right okay 100 kilo calories 100 kilo calories what is 100 kilo calories 100 kilo calories is nothing but molecular energy we have seen we are passing external uv radiation now here in the first step passing radiation that can be captured with the valence electron we are not pass the radiation there is no changes at the molecular level if there is no changes at the molecular level there is no spectra getting my point okay right so the molecular energy is 100 kilo calories you just assume i am passing uv radi uv visible radiation right here i am passing first case i am passing uv visible radiation within the range of 0 to 15 kilo calories in the first case i am passing the uv visible radiation in the range of 0 to 15 kilo kilo calories right here some x compound or drug molecule is there the energy of the drug molecule is 100 kilo calories after excitation we just calculate to the energy of the drug molecule the calculated energy value is 120 kilo calories okay after excitation the energy is 120 here the difference is difference is delta e we know different is e1 minus e0 there what is different the difference is 120 minus 100 thereby the delta is 20 kilo calories right now we just observe here the difference is 20 kilo calories but i am passing the radiation within the range of 0 to 15 kilo calories 
So if I pass the radiation having the energy of 0 to 15, is there any absorption captured by the sample at the ground state and is there any excitation towards the ground state? You just try to observe here it requires how much the sample in order to in order to initiate its excitation, it requires 20 kilocalories, but I am not passing the energy of 20 kilocalories. I am passing the energy within the range of 0 to 15 only. B means the energy doesn't have sufficient energy values. The radiation doesn't have sufficient energy. Instead of first case, if I take second case, if I pass the range within the pass the radiation within the range of 0 to 30, and the difference is 20 kilocalories. If the difference is 20 kilocalories, I am passing the electromagnetic radiation within 0 to 30. In the second case, sufficient energy is there. Sufficient energy is there, that sufficient 20 kilocalories energy can be captured by the X sample of the ground state, thereby it undergoes excitation. Okay? So, you just observe case 1 and case 2. So, based on case 1 and case 2, what is the condition for the absorption by the sample under UV visible instrument and how it will give absorption balance in the spectra? The condition is delta E is equal to capital E. What is delta E? The energy different between two energy states. So, energy different 20 kilocalories. This is the energy different. Then, what is E? E is nothing but the energy of incoming electromagnetic radiation. So, whenever energy of electromagnetic radiation E equal to, whenever this E is equal to delta E, then only absorption takes place, then only it will give absorption band in the spectra. You just observe first case. Is there any matching between energy and delta E? There is no matching. Here the delta E is 20, but here the energy is 15 only. There is no equilibrium. If there is no equilibrium, there is no absorption. So what is the condition for absorption by the sample in the spectra? This condition is nothing but the principle in UV. Principle is nothing but what is the mechanism? How it will absorb the radiation under UV visible instrument? So this is the mechanism. If the sample satisfies the condition delta E is equal to E, then only absorption takes place. After absorption, so energy molecule, energy level changes no? in the ground state 100, but in the exit 120. What does it mean? Changes in the molecular energy by the absorption of CU radiation. That change is captured by the detector and it will give corresponding spectra. Okay? Try to understand. There is no spectra if there is no changes in energy level. There is no changes in energy level, there is no absorption of UV visible radiation and based on the condition. If there is no condition delta E is equal to E, there is no corresponding spectra. So this is the principle. Simply, whenever the can I say E is nothing but E, energy of electromagnetic radiation, simply photon energy. Whenever photon energy is equal to energy different between any two electronic energy, it will, um, it will undergo excitation from one energy state into another energy state and it will give absorption spectra.